Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny, as you guys know. Um, thank you so much for watching our videos. And today we're going to be working uh, something uh, simple. Uh, we're going to be doing the pedal installation, the support with the brake pedal and clutch pedal. And also we're going to be doing the clutch cable installation because this car has a, a T5 conversion for motor drive line. And um, I need to install that because I didn't do it when I put the transmission in, but today we're going to accomplish that. Let's dive in. All right, guys. These are all the parts that we're going to use. I'm going to show you guys um, every part separate and explain it. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, guys. What do we get here? So we got a pedal support that we restored a couple days ago. Um, you guys can see the short video in the channel. We got the brake pedal. Or from um, Scott Drake. We got the bearing kit for the pedal support. I'll show you guys how to install this later. This is an upgrade. This is the clutch pedal uh, made by um, Mother Driveline. It came with the T5 conversion kit. This is an extension for the um, clutch pedal to make it work with the um, with this cable, the system that this uh, T5 conversion was designed. And as you guys can see, there's a mark here. Um, I just dry uh, fit everything before, you know, going to the car. And I noticed that this piece is, is hidden with the support. So it won't, it won't be able, the pedal won't be able to do all the travel completely. So this piece needs to be um, hitting the stopper that you guys will see later. This is a stopper for the clutch pedal. This is a plate that we're going to use to um, mark the location of the cable on the firewall. Um, and this is the clutch cable. Came with a heat shield because we don't know if it's going to hit uh, the headers. Uh, I will see. I will see how it fits. Um, if, if, I, if I'm not like completely sure about this, I'll get a, a better one because this is, this is really thin. Uh, maybe we will need something thicker and longer. I don't know. We will see when we install it. A little bit of grease. You can use any grease that you have. This is high temp. It's not necessary, but it's, that's what I have. Uh, this is the bolt to keep the pedals in place. And the pads for the pedals. All right, let's assemble the pedal support. So this is the bearing. Use this washer right here. And we're gonna put it in like that. Okay. Then this pin washer and the retainer. That's the tricky part. This one that I have is too small to work with this retainer, but that's all I have. I don't know if you guys can see there, just put it in place. And then try to push it. Okay. Need to go a little bit more. This is how it goes. Now we will do the same procedure in the other side. Same thing, bearing with washer. We'll put it in place. Okay. Then the big washer. 
and a retainer. Like I said, this is too small for this retainer, but that's all I have for today. Okay, we're in place. Now we will do a little bit of grease and the bearings. Okay. So let's get, let's get the pedals in place. So we're going with the brake pedal. Now we're going with the clutch. There's a hole here with the shape of a bolt. And then secure with the nut that came with the kit. Mm -hmm. Now the stopper. The pedal hit this. So now I'm going to show you what happens when I install the extension for the clutch, that it goes right here. Okay, we, we, we just adjust this a little bit more and now it's, it's working properly. But we will see when we get into the car if this piece is not rubbing anything because it's too high, I don't know. So we will see when we install it. If we install it, if this is rubbing something, so we need to lower it and then cut a little bit here to make it work properly. So basically, this is it. So now we're going to use the plate to mark the location of the clutch cable. So basically, those two holes are from um, the master cylinder for the brakes. But I don't have that yet, so there's nothing in here. If you guys have the brake setup uh, already installed, you guys need to remove the master cylinder to do this. And the holes on top are from the pedal support. So I'm going to place this, line up with the holes like that. If you guys want to 
add any bolts or anything to keep it in place that is up to you but for me i think i can make it happen like that so we will mark the location so now we have to drill that hole to make the um, cable clutch go in. All right, we're ready to drill the hole. Um, I will use a small bead, try to do it as center as possible to make like the first hole. And then we're going to use another type of drill bit to make the, the complete hole. Probably it's going to be around a one inch. So try to do it as center as possible like that. Now we're using this special drip bit, um, specially designed to make those kind of holes. So we're going to go until one inch. Yep. So now we have the hole uh, made for the cable. So if you guys have a, a manual transmission already in your car, like an old one, let's say um, um, a C-bar system, the mechanism is coming out of this hole. In my car, it's, it's covered because my car was automatic. Um, but if your car was a, a C-bar system uh, transmission, the kit came with a plug to cover that hole with a rubber plug. So if that's your case, you need to install that. In my case, I don't have to. All right, guys, we're ready to install this into the car. Um, one more step that I'll suggest before installing all this into the car, just remove this piece from the clutch extension because it's going to be super hard. Just thread this in, the, the clutch cable in here when it's already into the car. So just remove that. We will thread this into the cable and then feed the cable from the engine bay into the car. All right, guys, we will set um, the support in position. There's two holes, two small holes here. Um, there are for two small screws just to keep it in place. Because it's it will be really hard just to put it in here, and then the screws are coming um, from the firewall in. So if you don't have those little holes, it will be really difficult just to keep it in place. So. So in my case, it was a little easier because I don't have a cluster. I don't have anything inside, so I can just fit my hands everywhere. And um, for the clutch, we just test the rubbing issue. And at the beginning, it was rubbing here at the top. I just lowered the, the extension. And now we're doing good. All right, guys, we're ready to install the cable um, into the car. As you guys know, we need to remove this uh, before install the pedals into the car because it's, it's going to be really difficult just to uh, thread this into this piece when it's inside the car with all the stuff around, like the cluster and everything, if, if you guys have uh, the car completed. In my case, I don't have anything inside, but it's, it's easier to do it this way, so... We will need to remove the o-ring that I was here. Then slide this plate in like that. And then put the o-ring back to keep everything in place. There is a groove. 
to sit and then we are in place. So now we're going to install this into the firewall. Pull the hole. Now the bolts. Okay, we are in place, we got the cable in, the two bolts, and then the ones at the bottom, remember they're from, um, for the master cylinder, we don't have that. So for now we will keep it this way. Uh, remember the cable need to go under the braces that goes here. So I don't have those installed, but if you guys have those, you need to go under. And um, let's go inside to connect everything. Okay guys, um, we'll pull the cable, and then slide this pin in, oops, let's go this way. Okay, and then secure from the other side with the cutter pin. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Okay guys, we got the cable here. Um, I found a problem. It's hitting my headers. So I'm not planning to change the headers because they're new. So we will try to um, wrap the cable with some heat seals to see if it survives. If this doesn't work, I'll replace the, the headers in the meantime. So. Okay, after fighting a little bit with this, um, I just installed this heat shield and the one that it came with the kit, so it got double. This one comes with heat shrink for, you know, the ends, but the, the heat shrink, uh, it won't fit this, it won't pass this, so I just keep it this way until I go to the store, I gotta go to the store and get, get some tape. A special tape that it you know resists heat just to uh, grab the ends okay so for now we will keep it like that for installation purposes okay and then Let's put it in place. Show you guys. Oops. It will be a little difficult to get the cable in place because of the headers okay so we are in now we need to install this clip here to keep the the cable in place let's see if we can make it happen Okay, it's in place. So now we 
we're gonna install the nuts for the cable let's see if it works Okay, to finish everything, we're going to install the pads. Now the trim. We got the pedals in place. All right, guys. Basically, that was uh, the whole process for me. Um, hopefully, everything will work as designed. I'm a little bit uh, worried about the, the cable with the headers, but we will see what happens when we start using the car if it if it doesn't work so we will have to replace the headers hopefully it will work um, so thank you so much for watching if you have any any comments or any suggestions you can feel free to do it in the comment section uh, make sure that you subscribe that way you will help uh, these videos to keep coming and uh, I would love to share you guys uh, all the process that I'm going through this um, restoration and hopefully someday we will fire her up <laughs> i hope so so thank you so much